Hello and welcome to Winsloop Academy. This is our Electronics 101 for beginners. In this lecture we are going to discuss the two main types of current and the difference between open and closed circuits. So there are two main types of current. We have the AC which stands for alternating current and then we have the DC which stands for direct current. And as the names basically says, the direct current will, as illustrated here, have a direct line throughout the circuit, meaning that the current is traveling in the same direction from one end to the other and is not switching direction at all. Whereas alternating current is multiple times throughout the circuit switching direction back and forth. And the way that we are using these differently in our everyday life is by taking an example, for example the wall outlet. The wall outlet and the power that comes out of it is alternating current. And the reason for that is because when you're getting the power from a wall outlet, you are not generating that power from within this wall outlet. It's generated on a power plant, for example, a certain distance from your home, and that power needs to be transferred from the power plant to your resident and then being distributed through this wall outlet with the whatever device uh, you plug into this. And the advantage of AC is that when distributing this power over distance, it is a lot easier for us to change voltage of it using a trans using a transformer. And we are also having the beneficial of it changing the current throughout the traveling of the distance. And compared to, for example, a battery, which is entirely based on direct current. So all the devices that you have inside your house, for example, your mobile phone, your small gadget displaying the time on our wall watch, or yeah, whatever minor device that is running a battery is based entirely on direct current. And there is a relationship between these because as you might is aware of, you can charge some batteries from your wall outlet. And Therefore, you can actually transfer your alternating current into direct current such that this relationship between them is happening. And you can not only do that one way, meaning from alternating to direct current, but you can also transfer from direct current to alternating current. But that is a more advanced process and we will not go into details about that. But you just need to be aware of that you can actually transfer between these two so you're not stuck with either direct current or alternating current. So now that we have seen some use cases of this alternating and direct current, we are going to discuss circuits. Because whenever you are having something that rely on power to work, you are having a circuit. And here we see an open circuit. So we have a little battery here with a minus terminal and a pos positive terminal. And then we have a light bulb. And that light bulb is off for now. And that is because we are having a wire a wire here from the negative terminal onto the light bulb and then we are having another wire that is basically not connecting to anything. So there is not an entire closed circuit. That means that we cannot have the power being transferred from the negative terminal and back to the positive terminal. So we don't have this connection. So currently our power bolt is off and that is why we need a closed circuit. So when we are having a closed circuit, meaning that we can have the power being transferred from the negative terminal onto our light bulb and then back through the positive terminal and have this flow here, we will actually see that our light bulb is turned on. So whenever you are switching something off, for example, your flashlight or the light bulb in your lamp, what is actually happening behind the scene is that you are going from a closed circuit to an open circuit. So there are something physically disabling this circuit here such that you are no longer touching the, for example, positive terminal, meaning that the light bulb will switch off. And when you are then turning on your device again, this connection is remade such that we have this circuit here. And that is basically how closed and open circuits work and how you can differentiate between the two types of current, the AC and the DC.